A very good evening to all the participants on behalf of Lagudyog Bharti Karnataka chapter and IMS Foundation. A very, very warm welcome to all the industry captains who have joined us today. For the benefit of our uh, special guests, new members and non-members, I would like to share a brief introduction of Lagudyog Bharti Karnataka and IMS Foundation. Lagudyog Bharti Karnataka is a state chapter of national LUB catering to 24 districts of Karnataka and works towards the empowerment of entrepreneurs in the micro and small sector. It plays an important role in promoting trade and investments in the state, being the apex chamber of uh, Karnataka for MSMEs. It regularly interacts with senior government officials, both from the center and the state, and oversees trade and investment offices on critical issues concerning MSME sector. Lagudyog Bharti Karnataka and IMS Foundation are involved in activities including capacity building programs for MSME entrepreneurs, industrial visits to showcase best practices and encourage MSMEs to adopt and replicate the same, Interact, me, interactive meetings with government departments and overseas trade officers, participation in national and international exhibitions and trade fairs, hosting of national and international exhibitions under the Tech Bharat banner of LUBK and IMS Foundation, hosting and organizing various overseas business delegations for technology transfers, B2B and joint ventures and collaborations. Of course, we do have a standalone women entrepreneur cell, which is very, very active promoting women leaders. Coming back to today's uh, webcast session, we are very happy to inform you that Lagud Yog Bharati along with IMS Foundation is hosting a series of webinars with trade and investment offices of overseas nations coinciding with national uh, international MSME day during the month of July. Today, we are focusing on Taiwan region, which uh, will be hosted by Mr. Jules Shi. He, he will be showcasing various business opportunities, vis-a-vis -vis collaborations, joint ventures, standalone units, trade and marketing prospects, and similar such projects open specific to MSME sector being offered by Taiwan region. Let me have the pleasure of introducing the speaker today. Mr. Jules Shi is the new director at Tepai World Trade Center, Chennai, branch of Taitra. His basic mission is to promote trade and investment between Thailand and South Indian states. Earlier, he was holding the position of manager, Taiwan External Trade Development Council. There, he was in charge of advisory and solution for Taiwan manufacturers to develop international business. He has also served as manager, Taiwan Trade Center, Ho Chi Minh City, representative office promoting trade and investment between Taiwan and Vietnam, Cambodia and Laos. As a project manager, Taiwan External Trade Development Council, he was involved in the promoting trade and investments between Taiwan and mainland China. He has served as a business specialist, Kingdom Communication Associated Limited, where he was in pro promoting electronic surveillance system for uh, French speaking territory. He's a certified B2B marketing strategist from INSEED Singapore, has an MBA from Tamkang University, Taiwan, and also holds a bachelor's of art degree, French language and literature, Tamang, Tamkang University. He speaks fluently in Chinese Mandarin, English, French, and Vietnamese. Uh, in fact, in uh, 2021, he began work on South Indian markets as the director of Tepai World Trade Center, Chennai. His basic mission is to help Taiwanese and Indian businessmen to develop bilateral economic trade and investment relationship. 
In fact, IMS Foundation and Taitra have a very long standing business relationship. Both have collaborated extensively during the India Manufacturing Show, jointly organized in 2010 and 2012. In fact, a nine member LUBK business delegation had visited Comtex exhibition in Taiwan in April 2017. Similarly, in July 2018, LUBK had organized an industrial visit for a Taiwan delegation. They had visited Indian companies like Ace, BFW, Nikit Engineering and others. The earlier director of Taitra, Mr. Dev Sai, was a great friend of IMS Foundation and has helped many Indian companies to establish business relationship between the two nations. With this very positive note, I now officially hand over the session to Mr. Jules C. Please, sir. Good evening, everyone. Uh, President Sri Kanta Duta and the General Secretary uh, K. Narasaya uh, Prasna. Uh, Secretary uh, Bojaraj and Mr. Sheka, uh, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen, everyone. My name is Zhuo Shi. Uh, I'm director of uh, Taipei World Trade Center in Chennai. Um, our territory covers the, the South India, and I, I, was, uh, I arrived in Chennai uh, in the beginning of May, and until now it has been two months and recently, recently uh, after the ease of the lockdown I started to uh, make new connection and meet people. Today uh, it is my honor to be invited by INS Foundation and Lakhu Udiok Bharati uh, to present you the opportunity for MSME and opportunity between India and Taiwan. And following is my presentation. Please allow me a moment. Okay. This is an overseas business opportunity for SMES uh, on the prospect of Taiwan India Corporation. My presentation will go through three parts. The first part is to uh, let you know about the Taiwan, the, the, the whole environment. The second is the Taitra, my headquarters and its services. The third part, will I will uh, talk about the Taiwan industry and those opportunities. Let's get to the first part. Taiwan is a small island with uh, 36 uh, kilometer square. It's uh, similar to the, the area of the Netherlands or Belgium. And the population of Taiwan is roughly 23 million. It's roughly the size to Australia. So this gives you some idea of, of this island. And what are its unique advantages? Uh, for for the four, uh, past five years, uh, as for the very dramatic change for the global economy, uh, Taiwan has been hit by very uh, limited impact, especially after the, the trade war. You can see here the blue curve showcasing the Taiwan's uh, economy growth for those pa past years. And uh, Taiwan compares to those Asian tigers like Singapore, Korea, and Hong Kong, uh, we were the less impacted. And so we outperformed for, for these years. And Taiwan is the 21st largest economy in the world. And some figures to let you know that uh, Taiwan has its own competitiveness and many good uh, achievements. And for the past year, uh, after the outbreak of pandemic, uh, Taiwan has made a very impressive uh, production line of surgical masks just in 25 days. And now it's fully capacity to supply the whole nation. 
and we are the one of the best healthcare system uh, ranked by the number for this year. And for Taichua, we have made two websites, which is very useful. I invite each of you can try this website, the Global Anti-Pandemic Business Map. This is designed for businessmen. Once they want to go abroad to visit certain country, they can check out the entry control of each country through this website. And if you want to find uh, anti-COVID-19 products, you can go to the second website that will gather all the anti-COVID-19 products, and which is also very uh, useful. And Taiwan is one of the super innovator in the world from last, last year's ranking. The other three are the US, Germany, and the Switzerland. So we are one of them. And Taiwan is also famous by its cluster industry. Uh, from the north to the south, although it's not very big, but it's very concentrated by different clusters. So for example, if you want to build a bicycle in the central of tai Taiwan, you can find all the components and the uh, assembler to make a, a bicycle within like a 10 square meter, uh, 10 square kilometer area. So it's very uh, centralized and very convenient to find any kind of product through this cluster. And for the Pacific Asian region, uh, Taiwan is one of the hub. For flight, the, the average time to fly to six major cities is 2.3 hours. For the navigation uh, from five major ports is like 54 hours. So it's kind, kind of in the central of this, this region. Okay, let's go to the second part, Taicha, my headquarters and uh, its services. Taicha is founded in 1970. It has over 1,300 specialists in the globally. And it has five offices in Taiwan and 64 offices in the overseas. And the headquarters we call it Taicha, but our branches sometimes they call TWTC, which means Taipei World Trade Center or sometimes we call it TTC, it means tai Taiwan Trade Center. But it's all the same thing. We are the foremost uh, prom trade promotion organization in Taiwan. And here you can see our branches in the world. And in India, we have uh, four branches. We have, we have one in New Delhi, one in Mumbai, one in Kolkata, and here in Chennai. What do we do? Uh, we focus on these five services. First is trade show and the Taiwan Expo. Uh, we do a lot of exhibitions. And second, we lead trade missions. We lead trade delegation to uh, overseas to visit uh, trade opportunities. The third, we do the procurement meeting. The procurement meeting is for inviting uh, buyers to Taiwan. So uh, for past years, we invite thousands of Indian buyers come to Taiwan for uh, sourcing their, their target products. And we also showcase in Taiwan excellence campaign. This is a gathering of the best of Taiwan products and to showcasing their uh, innovation and strengths to many countries. And the fifth is to operate TaiwanTrade.com. TaiwanTrade.com is the biggest B2B e-platform in Taiwan. We operate this e-platform over uh, 20 years. For the trade show, 
as you can see, from uh, from March to October, we have like a thirty trade show yearly, from sports, bicycle, auto parts, food machine, uh, medical products, fastener, uh, plastic machine, computer products, and electronic products, water uh, treatment products. Uh, the through year, the whole year, we have a uh, thirty online and offline events showcasing all kinds of products. And after the outbreak of of epidemic, we made some innovation to counter this this uh, crisis. So for our trade show, we have made the online and offline way as an innovative exhibition. And we made many virtual trade show, even we create a TDSD channel. Later on, I will show you this channel. And we have a multiple display solution. So you are not only can uh, watch, can visit our trade show through computer, but also through iPad, tablet, uh, mobile phones, all kinds of device. And we start utilizing big data analysis and the uh, interactive sourcing function to attract uh, our visitors and using in integrated market marketing resources as well. This is the DTTS channel. It has online exhibition function. It can do the online procurement mating. You can do the webinar, new product launch, uh, some insight about the industry, press conference, a live tour, and a demo. So our exhibitor, no matter they are from Taiwan or, or uh, global exhibitor, they can use all our function to showcase their products. And in this channel, uh, we also gather uh, more than 250 videos uh, about the show and uh, the industri industrial news of each sector. So it's very honor to welcome you to visit this uh, channel to see many information of the most updated uh, industrial news. Okay, so you can see the QR code and the, the website here. Uh, we, I will, I will share this file to you. So it's not urgent to to try right now. For the for the train mission, we like we hold a, like a sixty nine train mission in last year and help to meet more than fifty four thousand buyers globally last year. For procurement meeting, we invite 3,600 uh, international buyers last year, and which can, can help, help uh, more than 10,000 meetings, but mostly online. And for my office, I have a special uh, function. Uh, we can receive inquir inquiries from all of you uh, to connect India with Taiwan. For example, last year we have uh, over 244 uh, inquiry regarding trade and over 100 uh, letters regarding investment. So if you need any information, please contact us. And this part is to showcase the Taiwan Excellent campaign. Uh, Taiwan Excellent is the trademark to, to present you the best uh, product of each year selected by the jury in Taiwan. And for this event, you can see the innovation and creative products uh, in many ways. So uh, I would li like to share you this video uh, later you, after the uh,
presentation, you can try this website as well. But it takes some time, so I skip the video. And we also operate the TaiwanTrade.com. As I say, it's the biggest B2B platform in Taiwan. Includes all the industry and the sector made in Taiwan or made by Taiwan. So you can see here, they have a multiple function just in this one website. They can help to link buyer and suppliers and in a trade inquiry or meet online. Uh, and the, this website also have link to many local e-commerce. So it's a very uh, functional website. And last year, since the outbreak of epidemic, we have made some breakthroughs for this TaiwanTrade.com. Uh, we have made a mega expo. So it's just like a, a virtual exhibition center. You can find all kinds of products through this uh, mega expo. And when you get into this mega expo, you will find every VR pavilion from auto parts, from high ICT products, from sport products. When you get to every pavilion using your VR device, you can more uh, real, really, really to uh, feel the product. And last service I, I would like to uh, show you is that we have a Kante Taiwan platform. What is Kante Taiwan platform? It's a talent recruiting platform. There are more than 1,800 Taiwan enterprise members registered in, in this platform and which attract uh, roughly 20,000 talents globally. So the Kante Taiwan help uh, talents and companies to meet each other. We provide working in Taiwan information. We help settlement support and government links. The most important of all is we do the employment matching. So uh, this is welcome if you have uh, friends, relatives, young talents, they wish to work abroad, they can try Taiwan and the work for Taiwan company, even Taiwan company in India, and they can find an opportunity to work in these companies. For each year, we have many events, uh, now mostly uh, virtually online, but they will help uh, talent and enterprise to, to talk to each other, to find uh, job opportunities. Okay. The last part is I would like to introduce you Taiwan industries. There are some industries that are very famous in the world. For last year, Taiwan ha has made a breakthrough in uh, anti-epidemic solution. So we we do like a ecosystem solution. We have a strategy suppliers for facial mask. Uh, for PPEs, detection product, and treatment supplies. So once again, I invite you to check all these products on uh, www anti covid 19 Please check this website. And secondly, you can see this uh, major payer of masks mask, uh, in Taiwan. And we are ranked as the world's second largest production base for facial mask. And most of them are CE and the FDA certified. And not only making the mask, we're doing the turnkey solution for many countries. So if you want to make a mask, uh, we have a turnkey and we can help you to uh, build a mass production line in very short time. 
And we also have this PPE growth uh, supplies. And it's the same. We have uh, not only the product, but the turnkey as well. And for medical care, uh, not only for the anti-COVID-19 products, but for the medical solution, uh, Taiwan each year will have many special cases on special disease. So Taiwan is also welcome on special patient come to Taiwan for a cure. Okay. Back to the industry, uh, Taiwan is also famous for the semiconductor. Uh, semiconductor in Taiwan counts for the top one in the world for the capacity. If you put TSNC, the biggest one, and the second one, UNC, they uh, count for 64% of world capacity in semiconductor. And along TSNC, as a rank top one in the world, and the share is like 57. So uh, if you count, if it comes to a semiconductor, semiconductor uh, Taiwan is your choice. So because of the development of a semiconductor, the IoT, the ICT industry ha has boomed has uh, developed very uh, successful in Taiwan. As you can see here, the display, the in Inolux, AUO, they, they also have a plan to invest in India. And they, their display can integrate to many different functional products, especially in the EV cars. And they are already uh, penetrated into the top tier system integration supply chain globally. And for communication, we have uh, many products that is very successful in the world. Like Widen, we are the top one. The cable terminal, top one. Uh, the termin 5G and 4G terminal module uh, as top one, and you can see all these telecommunication telecommun products, uh, the buyers trust Taiwan products. And for components, uh, we are top global suppliers as well. For example, PCB, uh, wafer packaging, energy component, or those IC design, Chips products, they uh, rank as, as the top tiers in the world. So you can see the table in the left. There are thirty companies of top company of uh, PCBs, and twelve of them are from Taiwan. And you can see CD Tech uh, rank as the first top on the list. Is also from Taiwan. So from the transition 4G to 5G tele telecommunication technology this year will bring an overall growth to major PCB products. And this include PCB for smartphones, laptops, wearables, server, self-driving cars, and network equipment. And where a strong momentum will even lead to the growth of the entire electronics industrial trend. So uh, it's very important to de develop uh, PCB products. And the IoT development in the world uh, for the Taiwan's position, um, each year we have uh, like uh, 1.3 trillion NT dollar of IoT output, and this is the major sector for IoT in Taiwan. Uh, the biggest part is for manufacturing and energy, smart city, smart supply chain, uh, some for detail or medical, but most of the, they are using for the 
manufacturing product industry 4.0 and when it comes to the industrial side we talk about machine so Taiwan machine uh, is very famous as well 80% of Taiwan machine is exported and it makes an uh, annual output of 39 billion US dollar because Taiwan is a very small island, small market so when he brings a lot of machine 80% uh, of them is exported including India and what are the big, best ranking for Taiwan machine uh, we are good at woodworking machine plastic and rubber machine uh, machine tool textile machine and show making machine and to choose the Taiwan smart solution like machines there are three uh, advantages majorly because we are very uh, strong in the industrial cluster so our delivery is prompt and we have a strong R&D capability because the ICT application is widely used so our machine are customized and provide total solution and because of the cost performance uh, Taiwan machine are eco-friendly and which share a global network Next, I would like to show you about the auto parts. Uh, as, as I can see in India, there are so many cars, so many brands, and which has a huge uh, headache for the repair market. Uh, Taiwan is good at the, the repair market, the aftermarket auto parts. And it's the highest market share in the aftermarket in the world. And the top five products that Taiwan do is like a component, a car lighting, tires, body parts, and uh, electrical lighting and usually made for collision repair and now uh, the auto part in Taiwan has three trends it's calling for energy saving for the environmental friendly and it's going to be lightweight and the modular design and safe and smart especially for the requirement in in the euro market and for this reason that Taiwan become the first priority for global EV maker to outsource their production uh, because Taiwan is good at doing this component or parts so uh, the EV has changed the ecosystem, the story of uh, car making and now many startups, many new new challenges in the market which they, they wish to uh, penetrate into the EV market and they calling for Taiwan supplier for this uh, for example Tesla, Canoe, Rivian, Lucid Moto uh, are choosing Taiwan suppliers for the parts and there are also many EV manufacturers in Taiwan uh, some of them you may you might heard like Chong Yi, like Rack for two-wheeler maybe some of you know the Gogoro, SYN, Kinko here I would like to show you uh, EV supply chain in Taiwan we have uh, give you this this uh, table of all these suppliers but I'm not going through one one by one uh, when you get this file you can check by yourself uh, I can show you that from the, from the whole vehicle from motor to electronics from battery charging and testing we have a full solution for you and here I would like to announce uh, a good news for you 
we have an event coming up uh, in before the, the middle of this month. This event is calling for a startup uh, in EV supply chain and EV uh, players in India. You are welcome to uh, participate in this event. Uh, we are open on starting from May to now and we still have uh, two weeks to go. Uh, you can make a proposal on our website for one meaning video and we, you can get to the first round and in the end of July you will you will get announced if you pass for the, the first round you will go into the second round in the August you get a chance to have a three minute pitch to the jury and uh, with a five minute QA participant online and on October 21st, you will have a chance to demo uh, on, on our e-mobility show. You can pitch public, publicly to the world to attract in investor and uh, partners. So what do you win uh, for this event? You get a chance to pitch publicly to the world. You are getting the chance to meet with a partner and investor. And you have the chance to exhibit uh, in our show. You get a free ticket to Taiwan and back. And you, you, have, a, you have a 14 day accommodation. So please come to our website uh, to make your proposal and video as a first step. Okay, later we have still some industrial to go. Uh, the bicycle. Bicycle in Taiwan is a very important in sector. We have uh, it's probably like a two, two, 20, uh, 2 million complete bicycle annually and 30% of them are e-bikes. Here again you can see all the supplier uh, for for a bicycle. And for e-bike, uh, we have a battery system, motor system, sensor system. And if you want to develop e-bike, uh, you are also welcome to connect all these suppliers. So Taiwan bicycle industry uh, in the world, it was also very, uh, many advantage like high value products. They're doing a lot of e-bikes and uh, they build a cycling culture. And next, I would like to uh, address to the textile. Actually, I know that India also have a very big textile uh, production and Taiwan is a, is a small island. Uh, what do we do for the textile? We are not doing very much for the garment, but we do the fabric. Uh, we are the eighth largest textile exporter, but 70% are functional fabric. What are these functional fabric? Uh, they, are, they are for like a spool, like a military use, like a special product, or for example, for football, some uh, fo football player, they, they have need a special uh, fabrics to make their sportswear. And like mountain climbing, or all kinds of special function fabrics, uh, Taiwan does a lot in this, uh, in this field. So when it comes to a spatial function textile, people will think about Taiwan. And hand tool, although uh, Taiwan is a small island, we don't do a lot of uh, low cost hand tool. Now we do a lot of uh, high end hand tools. For example, if you want to fix your mobile phone, a special uh, tool are needed. And 
Taiwan does a lot in these hand tools. And fastener, the same. For example, uh, for a dental, dental use of a fastener, uh, Taiwan does a lot for spatial technology. Okay, I, I will skip this. Uh, I also want to uh, share you about a uh, HALA environment. Uh, as I know that uh, Ind India also has a uh, Muslim community. Uh, Taiwan, just like Japan, we acknowledge uh, the, the, society, the community of HALA consumers. So we de develop this HALA certification to Taiwan we introduced nine of them in Taiwan. So now there are already more than 1,000 companies, manufacturers are certified in, in this uh, certification. And Taiwan has been ranked as the third most attractive non-OIC country on global Muslim travel uh, index 2019. So we also build a lot of events to uh, help our company to adapt to this uh, HALA certification. And the last thing I want to uh, let, uh, talk about is the culture. This is not Taisha to connect, but I feel it's very uh, interesting that actually in Taiwan, a lot of Indian movie hit a lot of success. Uh, for example, the Dan Girl, Three Idiots, uh, the Hindi Median, uh, it's, it's, it's very popular. If you meet any Taiwanese, many of them will know. And because I think because the Taiwan and India, we share the same democratic society, uh, the freedom of speech. So it gives us a lot of uh, creativity to br bring a, a beautiful story. Uh, Life of Pi, this film was a very success, success uh, Taiwan Indian uh, cooperation. Our uh, famous director An Li and uh, uh, Indian uh, actor, actress was performed in this film. It was also a very successful uh, film. And there was a director, Manik Kadam, uh, was visit Taiwan and they were had, they were, there was a MOU between uh, India and Taiwan for the movie developing. I think for the cultural side, uh, Taiwan and India has a lot of uh, things to do together. We can share a lot of story together. Okay, so this is all the perspective that I will like to share with you today. And in the end, the, the last but not the, not the least, please push a like on our Facebook fan page here. Uh, you can receive you can receive our events, our news, or the Kante Taiwan, uh, the job recruiting system. All these functions are, are promote in our website. So thank you again for your listening. Uh, I welcome your question and uh, hope to discuss you later. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Um, before I open the forum to the participants, there are a few questions already been keyed in. Uh, the first question is from uh, Mr. T. N. Goody. Uh, he's asking whether any Taiwanese firm can help him in uh, aluminum plates and extrusions. They manufacture uh, vulcanizing equipment. You mean uh, aluminum products, right? Mr. Goody, if you can come online, please. Hello, you. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, it's aluminum plates, alloy plates. Yes, yes. I, I have been buying it from China till now. Mm -hmm. And I look forward to work more with Taiwan. Okay. So it was just day before I asked the, I asked Mr. Shaker that is there any, uh, you know, uh, meeting with uh, Taiwanese and uh, 
luckily coincidentally it was today yeah. so i have an opportunity to directly speak with you guys so uh, i would wish to buy these from taiwan okay i have tried to visit a lot of websites but couldn't get through so yeah yeah now that you are the link uh, between uh, taiwan and india yeah and south india uh, uh actually this kind of uh, chemical and uh, metal product uh, usually they, they are not very uh, you know the tanky is not very open we have to find by ourselves uh, individually so please send you send us your uh, specification your requirement and we we will try to help you sure yeah. there are a few other products that i am looking for so yeah. ian has sent his email id so yeah. i will communicate with him uh, shortly with, okay uh, all the details that i require okay welcome welcome thank you thank you so there uh, there is another question from mr shivanand avati basically they are into industrial valve manufacturing he is looking for collaborations from uh, in uh, taiwan on industrial valves uh which product sorry i i didn't get you uh, it is industrial valves uh, valves okay. yes yes this is very uh, common product i i think we can find it very easily there are there are like more than more than 20 or 15 uh, suppliers we you can you can choose actually we can help you to make a, a online meeting we can try to find uh, three to five suppliers for you to select. So you are welcome to uh, contact us for your requirement. Sure, I'll share it to Mr. Shivanandavati. Uh, there's another question from Mr. Mr. Manpreet Sachdev. Uh, how can you support MSMEs uh, from in Taiwan? Manpreet, can you just come online, please? Manpreet Sachdev. His uh, basic question is, how, how do you support MSMEs with sourcing from Taiwan? Uh, I think he's not online. Okay. Uh, we can take a question. Uh, from the audience, anybody? Mr. Suresh Ayer, you wanted to ask a question. Yeah, I've already uh, asked him the question that we need some sort of a collaboration with some companies there. I will write to him because I'm familiar with his team in Chennai. And uh, he has introduced himself that he's come lately in May. I would like to meet him as well so that it will be easy for us to take things further. I will do that very soon. Thanks. Thank you. Um, I think uh, Manpreet is asking uh, for uh, press parts from Taiwan. Yeah, it, it's, again, we can do the, the matching. We can help you. So, it's, I, but in this part, you, you are looking for the machine or you want a turnkey? You I want think. a solution or just a certain it's turnkey. machine? It's turnkey. Okay, yeah, I saw that. Okay, yeah, uh, I, I need a requirement and I, I will help you for this. Actually, there's a, a lot of this kind of solution. I, I will now I will write our uh, email in the, in the chat box. Okay, so you are all welcome to write to us for your in inquiry directly. Okay, there is a question from uh, Mr. Narayana Prasanna. He's asking, um, uh, we, they have a requirement of IoT embedded products. So how do you help them? Yeah, I am Prasanna here. Hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, good afternoon. It was a nice presentation. Thank you. Yeah. I am the general secretary for Lagudyog Bharati. Yep. 
yeah, definitely we will communicate with our team uh, or our members for any communications or technologies or tie-ups from uh, Taiwan. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, we are, uh, my, I am having my own industry for the past 25 years, I am running this industry. We are manufacturing electronic weighing scales, uh, but we are looking for uh, some uh, technology tie-ups with uh, good manufacturers. We wanted to scale it up and market it in India. Mm -hmm. So such uh, any collaborations are required, definitely we will communicate with you. Okay. You're welcome. Most... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have a tip order. I, I think in Taiwan there's a lot of different kinds of solution, but different uh, scale. So it depends on what kind of solution you are searching for. And we, we, are, we are going to try to uh, find uh, uh, the match ones for you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Shekha, I, I would like to uh, answer the question you mentioned before, the how, how do Taiwan help uh, MSNE here in India, right? Is yes. that a question? Yes. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, for besides the services that I will introduce you, that Taiwan also have a special loan, special loan for for the buyers from India or from other countries. If you buying Taiwan products, uh, we can try to get you a special trade loan from local bank, but their capital coming from Taiwan and the, the interest rate will getting lower, will getting lower. But the process is, uh, I need to uh, explain you later. I will give you some information. But I heard of this solution to uh, help, to help uh, to help buyers to uh, eliminate the risk. This one of the solution I, I would like to share with you. Okay. Mr. Girish Kumaste, any question from you? Yeah, what is the prevailing interest rate uh, running in Taiwan? Bank interest rate, fund interest rates. Sorry, I, I didn't hear you. Can you Hello? repeat? The, can yeah, yeah, you, you have proposed uh, the special interest rates for Indian MSMEs if they start plan there. But what is the present prevailing rate uh, of uh, for the loans in Taiwan. Bank charges, bank rates, interest rates. Oh, interest rate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, usually it's, it's like a different, different from, from which uh, uh, object you, they are loan, uh, loaning for. But usually it's like, it's like, like more than five to seven, uh, depends, but it's quite low. Okay. De depends on the, the, the project, but it's usually like 5% to 7%. Okay, fine. Yeah. Mr. Girish, please go ahead. Yeah, uh, sir, uh, just uh, we uh, like to have the information uh, about the MSME in Taiwan. Can we able to get that directory, industrial MSME directory with their manufacturing facilities and manufacturing uh, um, products and other these things so that uh, we can able to cooperate with them and uh, get to know that uh, what are the products uh, will match to us and other things. Can we get the directory? Yes, yes. You can go through, you can go through uh, Taichua. Uh, our service uh, are free of charge. So if you want to find anyone, you can just let us know. You can write to us. Uh, all these services are free of charge. And you can meet any uh, anyone you which is suitable for you. Fine. Uh, 
Uh, Mr. Radha Krishnan, you have any question? I, I, I guess uh, the microphone was not open. Mr. Radha Krishnan, you have any questions? Thank you, Jeppu. Any questions from you? No, done. I have no questions. Thank you. Okay. Okay, then uh, I think there's no more uh, questions coming from. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, uh, extremely thankful to you, Mr. Uh, Jules. She yeah. for the very yes. very extensive session. In fact, we really appreciate your uh, uh, your uh, you have accepted our invite and uh, readily agreed to address our members. I'm sure there will be a few conversions in the coming days from our members due to this session. On behalf of Lagu Bharati, once again I thank you both of you both you and Ian for coming to this session. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Sh Sheka and the uh, INS Foundation and the Laku Udiok Palati. Uh, I'm very grateful today to uh, sp speak to you about this uh, situation, this development we are, we are doing. And uh, I would like to uh, invite you again to push like on our website our fan page so you can get the news the latest news of our events and also if you want to find any special products or solutions you are welcome to write the email to the to to the chat box that i have left our email here and I also looking forward to uh, visit you in in Karnataka. Uh, maybe one day we we can meet very soon. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm happy today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you. Lucy. Thank you guys. Uh, definitely, we can have a one to one meeting in the LB office. Yeah. Uh, definitely, we need to explore uh, Taiwan's opportunity, and uh, it should help uh, both uh, uh, Taiwan as well as Indian MSMEs. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And for the participants, I would like to inform that uh, 15th July, we have a session with Netherlands region. Uh, this session will be hosted by Mr. Sujit Shamanur, Senior Trade and Investment Officer from the Netherlands. I invite all of you to kindly participate. With this, I formally close this session today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.